Hey guys, welcome to another Server Miner plugin tutorial. I'm your host LGGM007 and today we're looking at the Paintball Battle plugin. This is a really amazing plugin which allows you to play paintball in Minecraft. It has a ton of features, it's really easy to set up and overall it's amazing. So first of all we're going to show you how to create an arena by doing 4 slash pb, that's going to show us all of the commands. And then if we do the 4 slash pb set main lobby command that is going to set the main lobby location which is up here. Then we can go ahead and actually create it by doing 4 slash pb create and then let's call it arena 1. Once we've done that we can actually edit it by doing 4 slash pb edit arena 1. It's going to bring up a nice GUI and everything you need to set in the arena is in here. So click the set lobby button initially and then we are going to jump down into our arena for our spawn point for team 1. Repeat the edit command and we are going to click the set team 1 spawn button. Fly across to the other side and we are going to do the edit command again and we are going to click the set team 2 spawn point. Then we've got the minimax players so click one of these, type in chat how many players you want. So I'm going to do 2 as the minimum and then 4 as the maximum. Once we've done this what we can do is actually change the colours. So I probably should go with blue and red but I'm, for this tutorial I'm just going to go with random and that's just going to give us a random colour. And then we can set team 2 as a different colour, maybe white or let's go with green for this tutorial. And then the last two things we need to set is the time in the arena. So this is in seconds, let's go for 100 seconds, that's pretty short, you probably want to do longer. And then how many lives, so 100 lives is quite a lot. I'm just going to set it as 2 for this tutorial so the game's pretty quick but you can obviously play around with this. But that is everything done in order to set it up. All we need to do now is PB enable and arena 1 and that is going to make it playable for our players. So once we've done that we can create a cool looking sign, so pop a sign down, do square brackets and paintball with a capital P on the top line and then your arena name, so arena 1 on the second line, it's going to change into some nice colours. Right click it and then we will join. So there is a couple of buttons in here, you can select a hat if you've bought any, we'll look at that a bit later, or you can choose your teams. Now we do have some holograms that we can create, so if we just go over here and do 4 slash pb create top hologram and then it's going to be called something random, I'm just going to call it a1 and you can either do kills or wins and then do you want global, weekly or monthly. So I'm going to do a global kills one and then we are going to make a second one, let's call this a2 and this one's going to be wins, global wins and then as we can see it shows me at the top and then my second account as number two. So that's how you'd create that which is really cool, um, I think that's a very nice feature. But let's go ahead and actually play a game. So I'm going to join the arena and get my other account to join. So my other account has joined and we are starting the game in five seconds, there's a nice scoreboard on the right. And as you can see we are in our coloured armour, so he's green, I am orange. We've got a ton of snowballs as you can see, I've got zero kill coins, there is also a kill streak shop in game. So obviously the more kills you get, you can get kill streaks just like Call of Duty. But if I shoot it at him, I am going to kill him. He's obviously going to respawn in the same place because that's where we set the spawn. And now that we have two points, we can buy some more snowballs. And then if I hop over to my other account and jump on him, he is going to shoot me. I'm going to be killed and then respawn in our spawn point. One more should do it and there we go. So I have one. Fireworks are going to be set off and you can see in chat there's some nice information about the game and I got rewarded with 31 coins. What can I do with those coins you ask? Well that's how you get hats and whatnot. So if you do 4 slash pb shop we can jump in here you can see there is a perk section so you can buy loads of different perks but obviously they're quite expensive and then there is also the hat shop which you can see they're also very pricey and we cannot afford any of those but if you play enough you could obviously buy some hats or whatever. So here we are in the SM Picnic control panel and as you can see there are quite a few YML files and a players folder. So the main one we want to look at is the config.yml and if we open this one up we can see there is a lot in here that we can change and tweak so we've got various starting times, how many snowballs you get and how many coins per kill etc. And then we've got all of the team colours and names, scroll down a bit more and then we've got the kill streaks. so we can obviously change how much they cost so this one costs 3, we've got this one, it's an item is a diamond, we've got name, law, which slot it's in, the duration and the cost and you can obviously change this to fit your server and then if we go into the main shop we can obviously tweak all of the prices and everything that we saw in the shop obviously they are quite expensive so you might want to make them a little bit cheaper and here we are on the spigot page and as you can see it is updated to the latest version of minecraft 1.8 to 1.16 which is awesome 
and you can see there is a ton of information on this page loads of cool screenshots and helpful tips and tricks so if you do need any help with this you can obviously contact the developer if you have any issues uh, but if you want to download it head over here but if you need a server to host it on check out serverminer.com for the best and cheapest hosting around but that's it for me subscribe like comment and i'll see you next time